15, which is wrap a surgical gown. First thing we're going to show you is our OCCI certificate here for Evergreen Veterinary Hospital. And then zoom back out so we can explain how to wrap this gown. So first we're going to go over the supplies that are necessary to wrap a surgical gown. So we have our large surgical gown here. We have a hand towel. We have an inner wrap as well as an outer wrap for the gown. We have our steam indicator strip that is going to go on the inside of the gown and our steam indicator tape, which is going to wrap the outside of the gown. We have a Sharpie to label the pack once it's complete. And we have a lint roller in case we find any lint or hairs on the gown or the wrap. So the first thing we're going to do here is lay our gown out on this table that is free from any obstruction and has been cleaned. So we're going to lay the gown out across the table drape it across. First thing we're going to do is fold in the arms. So I have the right arm folded in as well as the left arm folded in here. Trying to keep the gown as straight and bump free as possible. So we have our arms folded in. We're going to go ahead and fold in the right side of the gown first into the middle. While doing that, we're making sure our armholes are accessible and that our ties are in the inside of the gown. Now we're going to fold over this left side of the gown. Same thing to the middle, placing the ties to the inside of the gown. Also making sure that this armhole is accessible. Okay. Second step is moving this Right side of the gown, halfway to the middle, fold it in. Same thing for the left side, fold it in halfway. And then we're going to go ahead and fold it over. And it's nice and flat. What I want to show you here is that our neckties are hanging out the end here. So we have those accessible to the surgeon when they open the gown. Next step, we're going to fold the gown over halfway and then over again, and then over one more time. We're going to flip the entire gown, fold it over all the way one more time, again over, and then again over. Now that we have the gown wrapped and we have our ties hanging out here, we are going to fold our hand towel. So we have our hand towel here. We're going to fold it in half once, in half again, just like the gown, we're going to fold it halfway over, come back again, flip it, and then come over one more time. Nice neat accordion. We have that. We're going to place our steam indicator strip towards the middle of the gown, on the inside here. We're going to grab our outer wrap, place the entire gown in the middle, still making sure that our neckties are available to the surgeon. We're going to fold it, starting with the side toward view, up and create a flap. We go to the right side next and fold it over. And we have a flap created. We are going to the left side next, fold over, have a flap created here. And then we are going to take the entire back piece here and fold it back over the top, tucking in extra, nice and tight, and then we have our outer wrap. We're going to perform the same procedure, placing it in the middle, coming up with the bottom first, about halfway, leaving a little flap here, starting with the right side coming over the top, leaving a little flap, left side next, coming over the top again, keeping it tight, leaving a little flap here as well. And then taking the excess here back over the top and tucking it in and leaving a flap for the surgeon that's accessible that they can just grab and open. The next part is the steam indicator tape. So this steam indicator tape is used with a steam autoclave and it indicates that the machine has reached an appropriate temperature. So we are going to go ahead and keep a little tab here so that the surgeon is able to grab it. 
going to wrap that across. I have one more piece here. Again, another little tab for the surgeon. And then wrap that across and down the side. So the last portion of this is we're going to check everything, make sure it looks good, it's nice and tight, there's no open areas, there's no um, excess material hanging out, everything looks really good. So we're going to take the last piece of sterile indicator tape here, we're going to write what type of pack it is, so this is a large surgical gown, we're going to place the date and we're going to place our initials so that they know who wrapped this pack, what date, and what type of pack it is. So now that we have labeled it, we have completed our wrapping a surgical gown.